All right, y'all. So let's go ahead. What do we have for Pisces during this Mercury's retrograde? Please give me some insight. Mm -hmm. What does my Pisces need to know during this Mercury's retrograde? Please give us some guidance, please. Not vintage. <laughs> Y'all funny. Vintage. I think this is a classic song. You know why? Because I listen to it every day. And that's just my opinion. I don't know. Y'all thought I was going to say something. It, it really wasn't nothing, nothing special. But I also like the fact, even though it's too short, I kind of like that. Because one thing about me, I'm going to replay a song. <laughs> Give me, do we have any more cards for Pisces? Yes, we do. Okay. Oh, Pisces. Stop stop being petty. Oh, my God. Don't sweat the small sh Pisces. Please. Okay? Because that the small stuff, especially with y'all partners, my committed Pisces, oh, my God. Stop arguing over petty stuff. My goodness. Because y'all getting irritated with each other. And y'all not breaking up, so I don't understand. Thank you. Thank you, Shamika. Um, you got the Six of Pentacles to start the reading out with. Uh, I really feel like, you know, Pisces, you guys have been givers for quite some time, right? And I really feel like you've been putting good energy out into the world for being so giving, right? Um, and I think that for some of you all, well, side note, some of you all have been praying for strength and you were praying for it very intensely. And that's why you've been going through intense lessons. Be mindful of how you pray for strength because strength does send you lessons to strengthen you, okay? Do have the strength card showing up here. But for other others of you, I feel like you have been um you've been really putting forth a, a good effort to be um intentional when it comes to you putting out into the universe what you want to come back, okay? That's a really good thing, though, because the universe sees you. They're recognizing you, and they're about to multiply whatever it is that you have been doing. Like, it's like whatever. Some some of you all have been doing things behind closed doors. You ain't been looking for no clout. You ain't been doing, you know, it ain't no look at me, watch me do this, none of this. It's like, I'm doing this because it's the right thing to do. And y'all are about to be greatly rewarded for that, okay? So that's a really good thing, all right? Um, you got this sun card showing up here in the upright. And I feel like in regard to this, this is just like... More sort of energy of being favored in a way. I would show you guys the sun card, but um, I can't because it's super. I mean, I can show y'all like this, but yeah. Um, for some of you all, though, in regard to relationship, the sun card and also this eight of cups card, you guys have been spending a lot of time with your significant other. And, you know, it's not necessarily a bad, a bad thing. But if y'all been arguing over petty stuff, oh, my goodness. Y'all need some space. That's what I'm getting from this. You know, when you are directly under the sun, it's just hot. It's uncomfortable. It's, ir it's irritating. And y'all are taking your irritability out on one another. And it's really just not even... <laughs> it's not that deep. Y'all both being petty, okay? So, but really, it's mainly the Pisces. Because y'all like, I want to be close to you, but not like that. Like, it's just, it's just being irritable, okay? Be mindful of your irritation levels when it comes to your partners. Because they have feelings, too. Okay, so just keep that in mind, you guys. Keep that in mind. And you also have the Eight of Batons here in the reverse and the Two of Batons here in the reverse. I'm feeling like that energy is speaking about somebody who is not necessarily ready to make a decision for themselves by themselves. And so that is going to cause for you to be strengthened through more lessons because you are not ready to make this decision that is an independent lesson. This is something that has to come from your heart center. Your uh, your intuition is what's going to lead you to the answer for this two of the times, okay? And, but the thing is that you have to make this decision, though, all right? This is, not, um, this is not something that you could just skip over. Like, you really have to make this decision. And until you make this decision, you're going to be strengthened, okay? I'm irritable and they better be sympathetic. See, look at you. Oh my goodness. So true. You funny. <laughs> Pisces moon. Okay, Pisces moon. Glad it resonate. My husband and I just had to talk about this. We've set out a day to each go out with a friend. I love that. That's what I'm talking about. Finding common ground, coming to a solution, understanding that space does not mean that I do not love you. 
Just give each other some time to miss each other, okay? That's what I would say. That's what I would say when it comes to my Pisces. But other than that, you guys are doing quite swell. And the universe has seized you, okay? The universe sees you. The universe is recognizing you. But when it just comes to relationship, y'all, ease up some. That's what I'm going to say. Ease up some, okay? So if that resonated for y'all, please.